And she'd been doing these self-exams faithfully, never found anything. And then she found a lump that felt like a craisin, you know, kind of a dried up, firm cranberry. Mm -hmm. And so we always talk about a lump being firm or hard. And every time we're consistent, we have been consistent with that message. What is a, and getting nitty gritty, what does a lump feel like? Where's the number one spot on your breast for breast cancer? Where's the number two spot for breast cancer? Um, the upper outer, outer quadrants one, around the nipples number two. Just really digging into the earthy details. Mm. And then also, we go out a lot. And we speak to groups constantly. Last October, I think I spoke at 31 different places. Um, because you meet women who say, I did breast cancer. I did buddy check too. And they stand up and tell the whole room of their fellow employees. And see, there's the link. I didn't know Betty Jo had breast mm, cancer. She stands up there in tears and said, you guys, you got to do this. I'm alive because I did buddy check. It's just that echo of the voice. It's giving everybody a voice. I mean, I can't tell you how many women I've met. I met a woman when I was in Amsterdam, and, and she said I, her mother died of breast cancer, and she's had breast cancer. She never really talked about it. And I said, you have a powerful voice. Yeah. Think how many lives you can save. So it's the nitty-gritty. It's telling women to rise up and talk about it because people will honor what you're saying. And when those people get up, it makes it relevant. Yeah. This is not just a news story. Oh, it's their friend at work. That's what's important.